All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and they teach us this truth. And salutations to all the brothers out there. Salutations to all the brothers out there teaching the word and truth and sincerity. This is wisdom of Solomon, thirteen and one. Surely vain are all men by nature. The scriptures say that all men are surely vain by nature, man. Because we're born in the flesh. Everybody walking on the face on, on the face of the earth is born in the flesh, so they're vain. Go ahead. Who are ignorant of the most high. Yeah, the majority of you people out here are carnal as fuck. Okay, you are, you you have no spiritual molecule in your body. So therefore you are ignorant of the most high. Go ahead. And can and could not out that is and could not out of the good things that are seen known him that is yeah man you guys could not out of the good works that the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai do know that he exists out of the good works that he does you guys cannot plainly see that we have a, a great and powerful and mighty power man that there is a great and powerful mighty power because the God of the Bible is not the God of every nation. He is the God of Israel. That's right. Go ahead. By considering the works did, they acknowledge the workmaster. Read, read that part again. Read it slow. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the workmaster. Yeah, man. Neither by considering the works. What are the works? The works are the heavens and the earth and all that are therein, man. The stars, the sun, the moon, the wind, the water. Out of those good and mighty works, you guys did not consider the, the work master, man. Go ahead. But deemed either fire or wind mm -hmm. or the swift air or the circle of the stars or the violent water mm -hmm. or the lights of heaven mm -hmm. to be the gods which govern the world. Yeah, man. So you guys deem the creature, the things that are created, the fire, the water, the air, the stars, the circle of the stars. That's where you get astro astrology from. You guys deem those things to be the gods that govern the world, man. That is idolatry, man. Punishable by death. Go ahead. With whose beauty if they being delighted. Yeah, man. So, in whose beauty? The beauty of what? The beauty of the sun. The beauty of the moon. The beauty of the stars. The wind. The water. The air. The birds. In whose beauty if you were so delighted? Go ahead. Took them to be the most high. Mm -hmm. Let them know how. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Yeah, man. So you guys took those 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 visible things, those carnal things, to be uh, to be the gods of, of the world, man. But you should know that the Lord, the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, Yahweh Shem Shai, is better than all those things. Right. Go ahead. For the first author of beauty have created them. Yeah, man. The Lord is the first author of beauty. That's why the sun is beautiful. That's why the moon is beautiful. That's why the trees and all the creation is beautiful, man. Because the Lord is beautiful. Go ahead. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue. Yeah, man. If you were so astonished, so shocked, so 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 amazed at the, the, the power and virtue of these things. Go ahead. Let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. Yeah, man. So let them understand by the power of the sun. Salah. Uh, by the power of the sun, the moon, the water, the creatures, the virtue of those things. Let them know how much mightier the Lord God of Israel is. Go ahead. For by the greatness and beauty of the creatures, proportionably, proportionably the maker of them is seen. Yeah, man. So by the greatness and beauty of the creature, proportionably is the maker of them seen, man. So you take all the beauty of the creation the sun the moon the stars all the things that the lord created man you look at, at how beautiful and powerful those things is those things are salat those things are man and you can get an idea of how much more beautiful and powerful the lord yahweh shim yahweh shai is this is jeremiah 16 and 19. Mm -hmm. oh lord my strength and my fortune yeah man that's Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah said that the Lord is his strength and his fortress, and his fortress, man. Go ahead. 
and my refuge in the day of affliction. Yeah, man. So when martial law come, when all those terrible things come that are written aforetime, man, the Lord, that the Lord prophesied was going to happen, he spoke through his prophets. The Lord is going to be our strength and our refuge, man. Right. He's going to be the power in whom we trust, man, because that's our, that's our God, man. You are the heathens. Y'all believe in Buddha. Y'all believe in Hindu. You guys believe in, in, in uh, Muhammad, Allah. You guys believe in Ma'at, okay, for you Egyptology motherfuckers. You guys believe in Zeus. You guys believe in all these other gods, man. But we believe in the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Keep reading. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. Yeah, man. The Gentiles, the heathens, they're going to come in, in the kingdom, man. After the Lord bring judgment upon this world, man. After the Lord uh, visit and he make inquisition upon the world that he made. The heathens, they're going to they're gonna come from afar, man. From the ends of the earth to Jerusalem. And what they going to say? And shall say, mm -hmm. surely our fathers have inherited lies. Yeah, man. They're going to say, surely our fathers have inherited lies, man. So, Islam, those, those Muslims, they're going to come. Those Muslims and, and Ishmael, they're going to come from the ends of the earth. And they're going to say, surely... Allah and Muhammad was alive. The, the the East Indians, the Chinese, the Japanese, they're gonna say, surely Buddhism and Hinduism is alive. Surely Catholicism is alive. Surely Egyptology is alive. Okay? Go ahead. Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and the things wherein there is no prophet. Yeah, man, and the things therein where there is no prophet, man. The things wherein there is no prophet. So they're gonna they're gonna admit, man, because you heathens, y'all don't wanna you you heathens and you two thirds too, man. You you don't wanna admit. You don't, you guys don't wanna don't wanna confess that the Lord of the of the Bible is the real God. You don't wanna a, a, a admit and a, and accept that this is the real God, man. So y'all gonna admit that those gods that y'all was worshiping were of no profit. How are they of no profit? Because when the Lord comes back and brings judgment, man, and even before he brings judgment, he's bringing judgment every day, man. Okay? Those hurricanes that hit Japan and hit China, did those gods, the gods of the Japanese and the, and the Hawaiians, did they, did they deliver the Hawaiians and the Japanese from the typhoons that have been hitting them? Did the Japanese gods deliver them from the volcanic eruptions that's been going on and the earthquakes that's been going on? No. Okay, Allah is not delivering those Ishmaelites from getting fucked up and bombed every fucking day. That's right. Okay, the Egyptian gods did not deliver the Egyptians from getting destroyed by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Shall a man make gods unto himself if there are no gods? Read it again. Read it like, read it like a question. The Lord being sarcastic. Shall a man make, make gods? unto himself and there are no gods yeah man shall a man make a god unto himself and they are no gods man that's that's ridiculous man to go and make to go to go and hew out a stone or a rock or or to hew out an idol and worship it as if it were a god man they have eyes but they don't see they have ears but they don't hear they have a mouth they don't talk they have feet but they can't move go ahead therefore Behold, I will this this once cause them to know. Yeah, man, the Lord said that he gonna make y'all this once to know, man. Go ahead. I will cause them to know my hand and my might. Yeah, man, y'all gonna know the, 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 the power, the might of Yahweh by Hashem man. That's right. Okay, because those false gods that y'all worship, Buddha, Shiva, Allah, Zeus, all those false gods, man, they have no power, man. What? Right. Those are not the real gods, man. The real god is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shine. Y'all right. right. gonna right. know, man. You heathens are gonna know, man. Y'all y'all gonna know when the Lord bring nuclear destruction and he bring and he bring fire, man. When he render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of, of fire, y'all gonna know the power and the might of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shine. That's right. Go ahead. They shall know that my name is the Lord. Yeah, man. They shall know, man, that the name, the, 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 that the Lord's name is Yahweh, man. The Lord's name is not Zeus. The Lord's name is not Jesus. 
The Lord's name is not Jehovah. His name is not Buddha. Those are not the real gods, man. Okay, he's going to make y'all to know once that his name is Yahweh, man. Like the tribe of Levi would say, not get on con judge, man. Y'all going to know what the fuck the deal is, man. Go ahead. This is Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 8. But that which is made with hands is cursed. Yeah, man. It said the, Solomon said, so, Solomon was one of the wisest men on earth, man. And even the, even the heathens will admit that, man. He said, he said, he said, uh, what, what did he say? Read it again. But that which is made with hands is cursed. Yeah, man. He said that which is made with hands is cursed, man. Idols, man. Making idols made out of hands, molded out of silver and gold, out of stone, out of wood. Okay. Or idols you set up in your heart. Those things are cursed. Go ahead. As well it as he that made it. Yeah. It and he that made it, man. So the idol and the idolater, the maker of the idol, is cursed as well. Go ahead. You got a main example behind you. Oh, oh there you go, man. That's the idol for, for, you, for you Latin tribes here in Miami, man. You guys walk by every motherfucking day. Y'all see us. Y'all see us out here every weekend pouring out the milk, the wine, the honey to you. Breaking to you the bread of life, man, and you guys would rather go and take a picture of this motherfucker right here, man. That that's not gonna he's not gonna deliver you, man. He have a sword, okay? But that's that sword is not gonna deliver you from nuclear destruction, man. Go ahead. The Lord that took that head, I mean that uh that grace away from you, you, you stupid ass northern tribes, man. Because now we got a northern tribe brother in the camp, man. So you can see this ain't just a black thing. It's an Israelite thing. That's right. That's right. Uh, go ahead. He because he made it, and it because being corruptible, it was called the Most High. Yeah, man. So he, the idol, the idol maker, is cursed because he made the idol, man, and he bowed down to the idol. He worshipped and he served the idol, so that's why he's cursed, man. Because the Lord said that there is no other god beside him, and the idol is cursed as well because it is corruptible, man. Wood and and and, and stone, uh, silver, brass, gold. Those things are corruptible, man. Making an idol unto, like unto the image of man or unto the image of birds. Birds die, man. People die. Making to yourself a sun god, a moon god. The sun goes down, the moon go goes up, then the moon goes down and the sun comes up, man. Those things have their end, man. But the Lord is forever. Okay? Right. Go ahead. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike. Hateful unto the Most High. Yeah, man, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said through King Solomon that the 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 uh, the idol is is hateful. The idol and the idolater is hateful to the Most High. Okay, the the godly and his ungodliness is hateful to the Lord, man. So the Lord hate you fucking idol worshippers, man. He hate you fucking people in, in, in Catholic Church, man. You Jehovah's Witnesses, man. Because those are not the those are not the true gods, man. He hate you Egyptology niggas, man. You Kemet motherfuckers, man. Right. The Lord hate the Egyptians and he hate the idols, man. The Lord hate uh, the Muslims and he hate Allah. He hate the Greeks and he hate the pantheon of Zeus. Okay. The Lord hate a uh, Buddhist and he hate Buddha too. Go ahead. Verse ten. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. Yeah, man, the Lord said, the Lord said that upon the idols of the Gentiles there shall be a, a visitation. Ah, right, let, let me get the nukes. That's a lot. Let me get the nukes. Yeah, man, that's how the Lord, the Lord said that even upon the idols there shall be a visitation. The Lord is going to visit these idols and the idolaters with thermonuclear fire. That's right. Okay? That's how the Lord is going to visit them. Go ahead. Because in the creature of the Most High, they are becoming an abomination. Yeah, man. They are becoming an abomination, man. The abominable will surely be put to death. Go ahead. And stumbling blocks to the souls of men. Mm -hmm. And a snare to the feet of the unwise. Yeah, man. So these idols, man, these other idols, these other philosophies and ideologies, but outside the holy scriptures, man, outside of the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's a snare unto you, man. Right. That's a snare that, that that Satan puts out there to trap you, so you could get marked for death. Go ahead. 
for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Yeah, man, the, the spirit said that the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, man. So what do, where, what does that mean? That goes back to Eve when she when she uh, when she rebelled against the Lord. She didn't want, she didn't list, she didn't uh, take heed to the commandment of the Lord, and she took heed of Satan, man. So she rebelled. The scriptures say that rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, man. So the first idolater, the first witch and sorcerer was Eve, man. That was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Go ahead. And the invention of them, the corrupt, the corruption of life. Yeah, man. Those are the corruption of life, man. So when you go outside, when you go outside uh, the the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, man, the truth, the knowledge of good, that is the corruption of life, man. Because the wages of sin is death. Right. right. Go ahead. For neither were they, for neither were they from the beginning. Yeah, man. So the Egyptians got the Egyptian gods were not there from the beginning, man. Those are not the real gods. That's not the Ra and Maat, okay, and, 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 and Anubis and all those Egyptian gods. Those were not the gods that were there from the beginning, man. Zeus was not the god that was there from the beginning. Allah, Buddha, whatever the fuck you want to call it, those were not the gods that were there from the beginning. The God that was that has been there from the beginning, the only true power is Yahweh, man. Right. Right. Okay. And he created his son Yahweh Shai. And through Yahweh Shai, he created all things. Go ahead. Neither shall they be forever. Yeah, man. So in the kingdom, man, it would behoove you if you were fucking heathen, because you two-thirds, y'all gonna die any motherfucking way. But you heathens, man, it would behoove you to submit unto the God of the Bible, man, because the Lord is about to abolish all the idols, man. That's right. Okay. Romans 1 and 18 mm -hmm. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men Yeah man, the Lord said that the, 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 uh, the Apostle Paul said that the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven upon all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men man so all you ungodly motherfuckers worshiping idols, the Lord is about to reveal his wrath upon you through the heavens in the form of thermonuclear fire. That's okay? right. And the form of laser beams through the chariots zapping you to powder. Go ahead. Who hold the truth in uprighteousness. Read it, read it again. That last part. Who hold the truth in uprighteousness. Unrighteousness, like yeah, man. So y'all hold you heathens, man, and you two thirds, y'all hold the truth and unrighteousness, man. What's the truth? The truth. The, Yahweh Shai said about his father when he was praying to his father. He said that the word of the Lord is truth, man. He asked the father to sanctify his elect, his disciples, through the truth, and that the word of the Lord was the truth, man. So y'all hold y'all hold the word of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, Shem Yahweh Shai, and unrighteousness, man. Y'all call us liars. Y'all say that we unrighteousness. You guys say that we unrighteous. But the thing is, is that it's not about our righteousness, man. It's the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He's our righteousness. Right. right. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God. Read, read it again. Read it slow. Because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them. For, for the Most High have shown, showed it unto them. Yeah, man. So that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them. And the Most High has showed it to them. How has the Lord did that? By sending his prophets out to prophesy, man. The Lord sent his prophets, his prophets out here to prophesy way back then all the way up until now. And the, and the, prophet, and the prophecies are speaking, man. They're being made manifest. So you can clearly see that the that the word the word of the Lord is true. That's how the Lord manifests his truth in, in, in man, man. That's how he manifested. Because all you all you people, all you all, all you guys are are actors and extras in the movie. That's right. Go ahead. For the invincible thing. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, mm -hmm. being understood by the things that are made. Yeah, man, 
the Lord said that the invisible things from the creation of the world are clearly seen. 